one of the main and pretty straightforward consequences of global warming is, of course, the increase in heat waves. And one easy measure for a persistent heat wave that doesn't just last a few days or so is monthly mean temperatures. And we've done a study that looks at how frequently you get new records in the monthly mean temperature. And it turns out that already by now, we're getting five times as many monthly heat records than you would get just by chance in an unchanging climate. That means out of five such records that we observe, record hot months, only one would have happened by chance and four happened because of global warming. So most of these heat waves are already, can already be put down to global warming caused primarily by human activities. Now, if we extend this into the future using the standard uh, global climate model simulations for a business as usual scenario, so that's a scenario where we do not uh, counter global warming by effective climate policies, then if we look at uh, how many hot months will appear in the last decades of uh, this century, the numbers are really quite uh, staggering. If we look at the number of months that are three standard deviation about the, the normal climatic average that was valid in the middle of the 20th century, then in an unchanging climate, just by chance, you'd get roughly one in a thousand months would be as hot as three standard deviations above the mean. But if you look at that chart here with global warming in um, much of the globe, in the, especially in the tropics, you see between 80 and 100% of all months are three standard deviations above the average that we are used to. And even in, uh, in many other parts, in the mid-latitudes, that's, uh, for example, in Europe or many parts of the United States, all these kind of uh, yellowish areas, we have 50-50 chance. So we have about every other month being as hot as three standard deviations above the mean. That means as hot as something that would be a truly exceptional record-breaking or almost record-breaking heat wave in the past. Now, it gets even more stunning if you look at the extremely extreme hot months that are five standard deviations above the average. That's something that would just by chance in a normal distribution would have, happen uh, less than one in a million months. But if you look at a global warming future with unmitigated warming, uh, you get substantial percentages of this happening all the time in, in parts of the land areas. And that really, uh, yeah, that's, that's a completely different climate where in many cases, in many places, it will simply be too hot to go outside, to work outside, and so on. So just the, the mere effect of oppressing heat will be one of the simple, straightforward, predictable, but devastating consequences of global warming. 